going to wait just a couple of seconds to see who pops on. Um, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Tracy Bish. I'm a STEM help demonstrator in Central Victoria, Australia. I go live every Thursday at 5. And um, I actually did a poll on both uh, Instagram and my Facebook page today just about a colour combo. So we're going to do some uh, create a card today. And I've made two samples, but I thought we'd go back to you guys and see um, what colour combo you want. So I did put up three colour combos. I think we have a favourite, although it's not a huge buy winning. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll ask you guys as well because um, some of you might not have seen that poll yet. Uh, you might not have known that it was on. Hi Sue, how are you? So... Um, we're actually doing a really great technique card that I've seen um, around a little bit over the last couple of weeks and I thought I have never tried that so I wanted to give that a go um, so that's what we're going to be doing today um, the color combos are there are three to go with hi Deborah how are you oh and you're good Sue that's awesome so we have three color combos three chances yeah uh, crumb cake, boho blue and real red is one. There's two people who have said yes to that one now. Hi Carol. Then we also have basic grey, blueberry bushel and granny apple green. This is the second combo or another combo. And for that one, this one is the winning combo so far with four votes. And then we have another one of Night of Navy, Smoky Slate, and Soft Sea Foam. Uh, you really can't see the Soft Sea Foam very well, but this is one other of our colour combos. So, if you guys haven't voted yet, and you have, you know, one of those is a favourite for you, just let us know in the comments now. Hi, Carol. I'm really good, thank you, Carol. Yeah, really good. Looking forward to the weekend. We have um, our nephew's 21st birthday party this uh, coming Saturday. And um, I'm really not sure what else we're doing this weekend. Hopefully not too much. I think that'll probably be enough excitement for the weekend. Um, I do have my son coming home um, for tea tonight. So that's super exciting. Um, so hopefully it's not going to be a super long video tonight but um, he's not here yet so it doesn't really matter too much yet um, what was the first one the first one was crumb cake boho blue and real red so yeah <laughs> all right so, yeah so um, a little bit planned with the birthday party this weekend but <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not sure anything else. Last weekend we did some gardening. So if you follow me on social media, you may have seen some of my gardening. We planted some um, more capsicum plants, some more lettuce. And can I just say, like, we're in the last month of um, winter at the moment this month. I think it's the last month. Or next month, whenever. We're in full-blown winter. We are still getting lettuces um, from last summer here in Victoria and I think that that is absolutely amazing that we're still picking uh, lettuce leaves so lettuce leaves yeah so um, yeah, we want to put some more of those in so we've been doing a little bit of gardening um, up quick up I'm all over my with my words today um we did a little bit of upkeep with our fruit trees um, giving them some more nourishment and we've got a few blossoms coming up so i'm hoping that this year our fruit trees do a little bit better than last year we didn't get a lot of fr uh, fruit last year so um, i don't know whether it was the weather the season maybe a little bit too much rain because we did have flooding um whether that affected it uh, last year as well which it probably did so i'm hoping that we get some good fruit this year it is nice that he's coming home, yeah. We don't get to see him very often. He doesn't actually come out out home as often. We usually go in and see him in town. So, yeah. 
Oh, thank you, everyone. So what's everyone got up? What are you guys up to this weekend? Are you doing anything exciting or did you do something exciting last weekend? Um, it's always nice to see what you guys are doing. Hi, Carol. How are you? Caroline, how are you? <sighs> I did send um, your gift today, Carolyn. It's a little bit late, so I do apologise. But it's in the mail. So hopefully, um, hopefully Monday you receive it. There's not many bees around now. No, there's not. And we need them for the flowers. So we'll have to wait and see. Marion's doing some mowing and replanting. Ho yeah, I think tomorrow's going to be an even better day than what today was. So um, today I think I think we had like almost 20 degrees. I know tomorrow's supposed to be 20 degrees. So we're starting to get into that warmer weather, um, which is which is okay. You know, I'm, I'm good as long as it doesn't get to 30. <laughs> I'm not a fan of summer. <laughs> oh, Caroline's up on the Sunshine Coast. Oh, is it beautiful weather up there? Are you going swimming? I do miss the, the Queensland weather a little bit sometimes. But anyway, all right. So I don't think anyone's made any comments on which color combo that we're going to choose. Um, oh, Sue's having the grandkids sleeping over on Saturday night. First time for one granddaughter, so it's going to be fun. Oh, I hope she enjoys herself. Uh, Deborah's just going to Sydney tomorrow. Is her aunt is being buried tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry, Deborah. That's that's awful. You're staying with your cousins and coming home Saturday. Well, I'm sure it'll be nice to see your family. Oh, okay, Carolyn's been to Australia Zoo. Awesome, I, I think you'd be tired now. That's great. Um, Ali says she's going to be at a big today steam engine rally. Oh, it's a bank holiday. Wow, have fun, Ali, that sounds awesome. Hopefully you've got some good weather for it. Um, Sue wants option one. Carolyn's buggered. <laughs> I know. Those those theme parks, and I know it's a little bit different with Australia Zoo. It's not much of a theme park, but there's still a lot of walking. And, you know, if it's warm, that takes it out of you as well. Um, all right. So that gives us one more for that. But we still have a, a, a winner of Granny Apple Green, Blueberry Bushel, and Basic Grey. So that's the one we're going to go with quickly um, the card that we're going to be creating with but then I'll go through all our announcements uh, for the week so this is the fractured technique card it's a little bit there we go so although this looks like little tiny bits of um, DSP or cardstock it's actually not and it's really easy to create so that's that one there. Then, this is another one I created with um, DSP. So this one here is, I've stamped the background and created my own DSP. This one I've changed the design of the card, so laid it on the side. Um, I've also used a different die cut. So what's really great about this technique is you can use different die cuts that you have in your stash. Um, so I've used the square here, this um, oblong, I'm not really sure what the shape is. I know someone's going to tell me. <laughs> um, but as long as it has um, sides, like a, a circle won't work. But if it's got sides, you'll be able to do this technique. So we're going to be using basic grey, blueberry bushel and granny apple green to create our card tonight. Using the Gorn Fishing Square. Um, bundle so this one here and I really want to actually create some Father's Day cards so in the Gorn Fishing Bundle we have two sentiments that are great for Father's Day we've got just Happy Father's Day and then so glad you're my dad so that's the one I used on my sample we're going to use the Father's Day uh, sentiment for today's card so um, although this looks super hard it's really not it's actually quite an easy card to create 
Looks like a coffin. <laughs> Chevron says Marion. Or oh, Ali says her choice is the red combo. Mm. Mm -hmm. Polygon. Okay, polygon. There we go. So that one, whoop, that is a polygon shape. But we're going to go with um, my wonderful stylish shape dies. We're going to be using the square again, just because I really want to use that one again. All right, so that is what we're going to be doing in a little bit. Let me um, just go through all our messages for um, this week. Um, oh, I didn't tell you before too. I had my Bendigo card class last Saturday and it was fantastic. So um, we created three cards, had a lot of um, food and fun, laughter. It was really great. So, and I've organized the next one for next month. So it's the Saturday 16th. It's always going to be the third Saturday of the month in Bendigo, Victoria. So if you live in Bendigo, near Bendigo, um, and you would like to um, sign up or join in with my card classes, you certainly can. There is a link in the description of this video, as well as a link over um, on my blog. So I just wanted to to let you guys know that because I did do that last weekend and it was super fun. It was really, really great time. All right, so uh, bonus day coupon codes. If you cre if you had an order last month and you received bonus day coupons, um, you have one week and it's only one week left of this month to redeem those coupons. So um, if you're stepping up, actually did send out an email with the coupon codes in together. So if you're going to redeem them, all you need to do is create your um, order. And then in the coupon section, or manage coupons, you just click on that. You can copy and paste and put your coupon codes in there. But you've only got one week left to get those coupon codes uh, used. So here in Australia, for every $90 you spent last month, you got a $9 coupon. So don't let those um, just diminish to nothing. Make sure if you got them, please use them because, um, you know, it's a free product, which is awesome. Oh, Sue, very good. Oh, I'm glad that I've reminded you. You don't lose your coupons. Um, also for this month, so we only have one week left, uh, the Stamping Up have the kits on sale. So um, all our kit collections are up to 30% off. And which is a really great saving. There's actually a new kit in there with the festive tags. It's um, in the mini catalog. So um, I think there's 15 tags in the kit. It's a no stamping kit, but it will get you ready for Christmas, you know, make it really easy for you. Also a good one for the kids maybe to um, get that kit. And when this, the Christmas holidays start, they can create those tags for the Christmas presents, which is an amazing time um, for the kids. It gives them a little bit of a little bit of an activity as well. Um, and I think it's twenty three dollars, and it's at the moment with the thirty percent off, it's twenty dollars seventy or something like that. So um, that's a good saving and a really great way to get ready for Christmas with the kids. But there's kits from you know, different occasions, birthdays, there's Christmas kits in there as well, so you can get started with your Christmas crafting, um, but up to 30% off, so that is really great as well. And if you wanna have a look at what kits are available and what is on sale, you can head over to my online store, um, just click on the kits section there. All right. Now, because we only have one week left of August, there's only one week left, to get the August tutorial bundle. This is um, available free for all my customers who purchase with me in my online store using the host code. Um, you can also purchase it through my online, through, sorry, through my blog. And um, all my team members also get this uh, bundle tutorial for free. So all the bundle tutorials that I do every month are absolutely free to all my uh, team members, the Inky Stampers. So if that's something that you're maybe thinking you might like to do is become a demonstrator and uh, grab that discount. If you join my team, you'll get lots of inspiration as well, which is always fun to get that little bit of free inspiration. 
Um, I also have the Simple Sweet Stampers tutorial bundle. This is available also on my blog. Um, you can get this for free with a $100 order using the host code. You can purchase it for $9.99 US over on my blog or if you're part of my Inky Stampers team, this is also one that you can get as a free gift. And um, yeah, that's available over on my blog for for a long time. So, and you know, who doesn't love the countryside um, in sweet? That's a really great sweet to have. Um, lastly, and I thought I had, oh no, here it is. <sighs> The new mini catalog, which is available next month, you can purchase from it from the 6th of September. Um, I am doing a paper share from that catalog. So um, there's 15 DSPs in the, the catalog. You'll get a quarter pack of each of those DSPs and that includes the specialty papers. Um, I have this available right now. You can sign for it or register right now over on my blog. Um, and there is a link also in the description of this video. Now it's 15 of the DSPs and I'm just gonna quickly talk, tell you each of them that are, will be available. So a Walk in the Forest, All About Autumn, Berry Christmas, Garden Walk, Joy of Christmas, Joyful, Merry, Bold and Bright, A Holy Night, Shining Brightly, Snowflake Magic, Them Bones, which is the um, Halloween, DSP, Winter Meadow, Melon Mumbo and Granny Apple Green Foil, the Oxidized Copper and the Glow in the Dark Paper. So all 15 quarter pack of each of those packs, they will be um, popped into plastic bags, like a proper um, cut, uh, paper bag. It will also have a sticker with the coordinating colors, the um, item code and all that included in the packs so um, and you can opt to have that um, posted to you or you could also opt to pick it up from me as well so that's available now I do have um, almost enough people for the first order to go through so um, it won't be too far off and you know I'm happy to do a second one as well also I'm just um, finalizing my uh, catalogs so if you've shopped with me in the last six months I'll be sending out the catalogs I should have them all out by tomorrow um, but if you are not already working with another demonstrator and you would like to maybe have a look at the catalog um, you can get in touch with me and I'll send one out to you so um, this is an amazing catalog I love the holiday catalog always um, so much variety and so much fun like you know christmas crafting is always the best but um this is i'm really really happy with this catalog this year so if you would like a copy please get in touch with me like i said i'll be sending out all the rest of them um tomorrow i will have a few left over so um if that interests you certainly let me know all right i think we're ready to craft just gonna check comments nope no new comments so let's pop the camera down we're going to go with basic gray blueberry bushel and granny apple green i think the first thing that we have to f work out is what our base color is going to be so basic gray blueberry bushel or granny apple green and um, while you guys decide that i'm just going to pop the camera down So I did grab all the colors out earlier today, just so I was semi-prepared. I didn't want to be taking too long with you guys. Just moving all my cameras, the lights around to get better lighting. Right. So let me bring the cards in again, just to give you a good look. So this is the card that we're going to create again, but using a different color combo. We're going to stamp on basic white cardstock. We have our card base. And then we've used also strips 
of that card and another color. Carol says blue. And then the other thing is you can also use DSP, which is super fun to be able to do. So while everyone's deciding we've got two blues, one gray, I'm gonna cut my basic white cardstock for both um, the outside layer as well as the inside layer. And I'm gonna go five and a half inches. Oh, that didn't cut. Let's try that again. By three and three quarters. My blade's a little bit dull. Just gonna sand the edges. I really do need to change that blade, but it's not too bad just yet. So we have our basic white. I think we might have to go blueberry bushel. We've got two blues. Let's grab. Blueberry bush. I'm going to create my card base. So scoring in half. And then cutting it in half. That gives us two card bases. So now we have those two colours. Love that. While we're here, I'm also going to grab and cut these little strips here and yeah I think that should be fine so I'm just going to do one quarter of an inch strips because we're going to do the square I'm just going to grab four So I think this style of card, you could use any colour combo. We've got Father's Day coming up, so I wanted to do, um, create some cards for Father's Day, just to make it easy. Okay. So we've got those. Our next colour is the basic grey. Hmm. So we've got blueberry bushel, we've got basic white. For our die cut piece, do you want basic grey or granny apple? Granny apple green. To me, I think basic grey would be the better one, but I'll leave it up to you guys. While we're doing that, I'm just gonna grab some of my stamps out and add them onto blocks. Grey, grey. It can't be the same colour because we've, we're using our strips along here, so you want to define the two edges. So this corn fishing bundle is one that I sort of didn't get for a, a long time because I thought... Although my dad used to go fishing a lot, he doesn't go fishing anymore. And the area I live in is a farming area. So, you know, a lot of a lot of the males around here don't fish so much. It's um, like some fish in the channel and the river, but we don't have a lot of fishermen here. But I've seen so many cards created with this great bundle I had to have it and I think that's how it works you know we see samples and um, of cards created with different products and we just get sucked in I know I do anyway um, and I need that sentiment happy father's day Oh, 
Riley says green. I'll tell you what, how about we do both and then we can see, once we pop it all down, we can see which one we like best. So I'm just gonna grab a scrap piece of the Granny Apple Green and basically, rather than using a big, big piece, Okay. And my very trusty stylish shapes. I think I'm going to get away with that third smallest or third largest. I'm going to go with that one instead. So it's going to be a little bit different. Oh no, it's the same one. Oh, I thought it was the bigger one from that. Alrighty. Let's cut this down. I'm going to bring my little mini machine over. It doesn't take up so much room, the little mini. And we'll just quickly die cut these. So for my DSP um, card, I stamped my sentiment for the one where I've stamped the background. Actually, heat embossed the sentiment. And I think that's what we might do again tonight. I love. I love the look of heat embossing. Always looks really great. So we've got our two die cut pieces. Gonna need my Versamark ink. And okay, so the next question is white embossing powder or black? I have both very close to me so it doesn't matter if it's white or black let me know Oop. that could have been funny we need to turn them on the ends try and center I know Ali isn't that fun or am I stressing you out with all the choices? <laughs> you know, I really like doing these choices because it takes the pressure off me. <laughs> oh, hi Sharon, how are you? Sue says black, white on the green. Oh yeah, that'd look good. I think the white on the gray would also look really good. White on green, Ali says. All right, we'll quickly add our white powder to the Granny Apple Green. What about the grey? Will we go with white as well? Or will we do it black? Didn't stamp that image very well. It's the first time I've stamped it and I should have stamped off first. When you have new stamps, if you stamp it a couple of times, you'll get a better coverage um, with the image. And I didn't do that very well there. Anyway, white for the gray as well. All right, let's do that. You know what? I don't like either of these. They're not very well stamped. Let's just quickly do this again. Sorry guys, but if we're going to do a card, we need to do it so it, it looks good. I 
And because these are the stitched dies, I can't even turn that image over and, and just stamp on the other side because the stitch has one, one good side. Well, Alice says try the black on the grey. Another. Basic grey go through. That's a good tip, Mary. Always clean your stamps before you use them. That is a very good tip. I'm just being lazy. <laughs> and I will admit, I usually do stamp them a couple of times before I use them. I just... Not this time. Alright. Let's give this one another go. We'll do one at a time. So white on this one. Yeah, that's much better. Much better. Alright. Let's do the black on the basic grey. I do love the black embossing powder. Do you remember when Stampin' Up! got rid of the black embossing powder? Very, very disappointed I was. I did have a bit of a stash, so it wasn't too bad, but um, yeah, I don't think you can go wrong with the black. It really stands out on lots of colours. Stands out on the white, white cardstock. Oh, look at that. I find black powder is super fine as well. It's a lot finer than the white. I'm just going to put an excess there. Let's get rid of that. Yep. All right. Going to come in with the noisy machine just for a second or so until we melt both powders. Yeah, I think, Marion, it is a good choice, isn't it? So everyone that's watching, have you tried this technique before? Or is it the first time you've seen it? I doubt whether it's the first time you're seeing it. It's it's everywhere at the moment online. But you may not be following the same people I follow. I don't know. <laughs> wow. They both look really good, don't they? All right. So we have those ready to go. We're going to stamp our background with um, those three colours. I'm just going to grab just a scrap piece of card or paper so we can do just our background stamping. Now I have just sort of grabbed all the um, lures and bobs and flies, you know, all those good things. Going to use our colours here. So I'm going to start with the basic grey. And yeah, I'll do this one, I think. I'm just going to add. So we're effectively doing our own DSP here. Stamping off as well. Go. So there's our basic grey. We're going to come back probably with those colours. Granny apple green. I want to do this big float. I'm 
moving them all around. This also would look really good for Christmas decoration. So if you have this stamp set, certainly use it for your Christmas crafting as well. And then with this set, there is just this bottom piece that you can then come back in and stamp and add a second color to. I'm actually just gonna stamp off and add the color. But you could do this with any any stamp set you have in your stash. Looks pretty good so far. Blueberry bushel. I'm going to bring in one of our oh, fish stamps. So this one here. Oh, it's actually, it's not a fish, it's a lure. That's good. We can always come back in and add more as we go. Um, I'm going to do the granny apple green again. I really want the, the granny apple green to be a, a pretty significant colour. One of my favourite greens, granny apple green. bring this little bob lure because this is a really light and outline thing this is going to add that blue in a little bit more I think we need just a little bit more of that basic grey. So let's have a look at what other filler stamps we can grab. Go this one that looks sort of feathery. This one here. Sharon said she's seen the technique but hasn't tried it yet. <laughs> Carol says no, she's seeing it and she wants to try it now. Awesome. Well, you guys know that if you do try this technique out, please share it with us. I'd love to see, you know, what stamp set you've tried or you know what you've gone with right. I think that's pretty good a lot of it will be covered up so you know it doesn't have to be perfect but as a background that looks really nice I like those colors brights with that um, gray there as well very nice Alright, we'll do a little bit more stamping um, with the centre of our card, so we'll come back and do that. I have ink on my hands, so let me wipe them on my pants. Don't worry, they're black, so we won't see it. I've just smudged my inside piece, so we'll just turn that over. I'm going to need my bone folder. Get a nice crisp score line there. Okay. That looks so good with the blueberry bushel in the background. All right, so now we need to work out. We're gonna go with the basic gray and let me just grab some of our little strips here so you can see. You guys think basic gray I'll move my hand 
or granny apple. I think I like the granny apple green. What's everyone else saying? Oh, I, I see, Ali. Yeah, absolutely. It, it makes it look like as though, you know, you're doing a lot of jigsaw puzzling and it's not, <laughs> which is awesome. Okay, Sue says green. Um... Oh, Marion, I'd love to see you do do all the colour combos. That'd be awesome. Green for Ali. Green for Margo. Hi, Margo. How are you? And green for Marion. All right. We're going with the green, which is good. And I think it's because, you know, blueberry bushel and green apple green work so well together. They sort of just pop on your, on your page. All right. So I'm just going to take away that card base just for a minute. We're going to add just our sentiment piece down with liquid glue. That end's clogged. There's plenty of glue in here. There we go. I did have it sitting on my desk for a little bit today while I was making my second card. So just popping it in the center. I'm so glad that you chose this color combo, but it would be really interesting to see um, the whole different color combos. And then all we're going to do is we're going to add these little strips that we've cut. We're going to add them to the sides of our square. So these are way bigger than need to be, but we're just gonna cut them off the ends. So laying it along, and you're going to measure it up against the side there. The only problem is you do end up with glue everywhere. Well, I do anyway. <laughs> Our next one we're going to lay along the other side. This is a great way of using your scraps up as well. So another one. I will trim those sides down a lot neater in a minute once I've got them all in place. You could probably measure too how far um, your strips need to be. If you're a little bit more organized than I am. And last one. Uh, the strips alley were quarter of an inch, but you could do any measurement you like. Completely down to your imagination. You can even change out your um, sentiment die as well. I've seen them done in a hexagon, which looked really good. The hexagon looked really good. So I'm just going to turn these over and cut off the excess pieces. Unfortunately, we don't have any hexagon dies that are current. They're all retired. I did love all our hexagon shapes. So I've got glue everywhere. Let me just try and get rid of some of this glue because it's going to stick to my card base and I don't want to wreck my card. I have to print out another one of these for next week. Alright, so we have. How easy is that? 
so easy. I'm gonna add that to the front or our card base. And then we're just gonna do some quick stamping for the inside. Now you can add embellishments, ribbon. This is, you know, Father's Day card or a masculine card, so I'm not gonna add any, any embellishments. But for this one here, I just used rhinestones and mossy meadow stamping blends and colored those in. So it's a great way of, you know, creating your own embellishments or, you know, teaming the color up with the embellishments that we have as well. So I have my inside of my card. I just need to work out what we want to stamp. There we go. A little bit of a rough edge there. So I think I want to bring my sentiment back in again because um, it is Father's Day. So I'm going to do that with, let's do blueberry bushel. No, let's do... I think we might do basic grey and then down the bottom we'll stamp some of our little stamps that we've created the background with. Um, just because the Granny Apple Green and Blueberry Bushel work so well together. So, happy Father's Day. Like so. Oh, thank you everyone. And then we'll just come in with the Granny Apple Green and the Blueberry Bushel. So I definitely want to grab that, it's not a bobble, let's call it a bauble. <laughs> float, I think it's a float. I'll pop three of those down, I'm going to bring in um, that bottom piece. And I'm just going to quickly stamp off. like so and blueberry bushel let's do the fish oh wow that is really pretty pretty for a father's day cards i don't know whether that's probably what we should be going for but I love these colours together. Really nice. All right, and we're just going to use our liquid glue and pop that inside as well. So this is the Fractured Technique card. I would love if you tried, gave this a go and shared it with us. You can share with me on social media or email it to me, message me, whatever you like. But I would love to see what you're creating. Right, so let's bring the three cards in. So this is the one that we've just created. I love the brightness to it. This one is my favourite. Then we have this one here. This is Misty Moonlight, Mossy Meadow and um, Wild Wheat. And then this one here I've used the Very Vanilla and Mossy Meadow as the background. And these dies here are the... Nested Essentials. So these ones here. Something a little bit different. Stylish shape for these ones. Alright. Awesome everyone. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I really hope that you have enjoyed my card. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. I'd love it if you left me a comment. And if you haven't hit subscribe yet, you could do that. If you need any of the supplies that I've used on today's card, you can purchase them in my online store. I've got a great program for all my customers. Um, I give out tutorials, handmade cards. Actually, this month, the thank you gift is actually a box with a crazy dip in it, a chop a chop um, lollipop. So that's the free gift with the tutorial bundles. So um, I do love to spoil my customers. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. And I hope that you have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. I have a new Sunday's Tra Tracy Sunday challenge on Sunday. If you'd like to join in this week's already, it is a sketch challenge. So go over and take a look at that. It's on my Facebook page um, and join in. But I'll have a new one on Sunday if you'd like to join in on that one as well. All right. Have a wonderful night and I'll see you all really soon. 
Oh, uh, just quickly too, I haven't got my blog post ready because I had to do photos of these. So if you're interested in the measurements, um, in having a look at the blog post, just check that later on tonight. It will be up once I've had everything done uh, tonight. All right, everyone. Have a good night. Bye-bye.